what is going on everybody uh this is going to be a one week give or take a day or two one week review with the msi uh infinite rs gaming desktop so i've had this for a little over a week now i did an unboxing video and I wanted to actually use it for a little bit before I, you know, did any, any like sort of update or anything like that with it. So, uh, if you watch till the end of the first video, I had, as soon as I turned it on, there was a fan that was actually, it was vibrating on the case. Um, so that I'm not sure if it was over tightened or if it was loose or what, but I took care of that. So as you can hear. Uh, there's a fan running in the background if, if you hear that um, the computer itself is fairly silent So that is a very nice thing Open up the door uh, do a quick rundown on it. So this is the MSI infinite RS uh, it is <clears throat> Excuse me I'll start with the motherboard. It is a Z590 Pro Wi-Fi MSI board uh, the processor is an i7 11700 KF. It is the overclockable processor. The video card is an MSI. As you can see, everything on here other than the RAM is all MSI. Um, video card 3060 Ti. There is a one terabyte NVMe solid state, a three terabyte hard drive, and then I also added a. a, a two terabyte solid state uh separate solid state that's what this blue cable is here for um the ram is there's two eight gig sticks of ram it is a data a data xpg ram um you can see that is also rgb they are two eight gig sticks so 16 total uh 3200 ddr4 ram the cooler, the CPU cooler, is an MSI Dragon, is what they call it. it it's a 240 millimeter AIO. Um, single exhaust fan, you can see up here, one and two. Uh, there are two 240 millimeter RGB fans on the top. Uh, right back here, there's another non RGB 240 and then an RGB 240. And it was this bottom fan is the one that was actually making all the noise. Um, you can see it on the front there. You can also see you get this little strip and then there's the lighted MSI logo as well. So, uh, so far it, it's been great. I have zero problems with it. Uh, as far as I had mentioned in my last video as well, it might actually get a little hot. Um, that was a concern to me. Uh, I have not seen the video card go over 71 so 71 is the warmest i've seen and you know i waited a little bit because i wanted to actually use it and, and do some gaming uh play some games you know that are a little bit more stressful um yeah nothing i play is, is too crazy though but frame wise you know depending on the game anywhere from 80 to 100 plus frames um, w without issue uh, most of the graphics are on high ultra so I I've definitely turned up all the graphics um, this is also running 12 or sorry 1440 is what I'm running with it so it it's been very good very reliable very quiet um, the RAM, also my CPU, I've not actually seen it get over like 50, 51 degrees right around there. Um, so if you see the color on the RAM, there's actually a program on the computer. Uh, it, it's MSI Center. That I have my RAM set up so it changes color depending on my CPU temperature. So that's how I keep an eye on that. Uh, the rest of the stuff, I use MSI Afterburner, so and I have on-screen display. I've got my temps and things like that, so I, I know exactly where everything's running. Um, that's actually a great program. I've been using it for years. 
uh, it, it is free to download and, and again that's MSI Afterburner so uh, yeah just want to do a quick update let everybody know how it's been uh, so far I'm going to keep the RAM uh, RAM has been good I, I don't have a need to upgrade past the, the 16 gigs uh, but that still is going to be in the future I'll end up putting 32 in whether or not I do two 8 gig sticks or just get two new I'll probably just get two new up it to 3600 instead of the 32 that these are running at um, also something to mention when I first got this uh, I did go into the BIOS to check what the RAM speed was the RAM was only running at 2660 uh, 2666 uh, and it is 3200 so you know just be aware that is something you have to change it's super easy you go into the BIOS when you start the computer and it has an option right there it's got two program uh, two pre-programmed settings uh, one's for 3200 one's for 3600 for the RAM so you just click that and you're all set and you're running at 3200 uh, other than that Again, you know, it, it's been great. I've been super happy with it. And it's, if you saw my old PC, this is a, a huge upgrade. So, i very happy again. Um, it, I do recommend it. You know, I might, I might do an update later in the summer. Just for the simple fact of, you know, it, it's winter. Everything's a little bit cooler right now. Um, so when, when it's a warmer ambient temperature, I'm wondering if that might have uh, more effect on, on temperatures I get with the GPU and the CPU. So that's something I'll have to wait and see, but you know that's not going to be for a while. So anyways, again, just wanted to do a quick update and, and just let everybody know how it's been. And if, if, if you're considering one, I, I would say don't hesitate, just buy it. Um, I mean, you know, unless unless you have an issue with, with MSI. But, because like I said, everything in here is all MSI. Everything except the RAM. And that's ADATA XPG. So, well, I guess the memory. the so storage. So, one terabyte NVMe, three terabyte hard disk. And then, like I said, I added uh, another two terabyte solid state as well. Um, I actually went with the Samsung. Right there it is. I don't know how well you can see that. I don't want to pull it out too far. Uh, I'm gonna have to move that. So anyways, right there, there's your solid state on that side. So there you go. That's it, this is uh, the one week update on it. And so far I've, I've been more than happy and have had zero issues. So until the next one, Hope everybody has a great day, and uh, see you next time.